How y'all doing this afternoon? Woo! Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Boy, I tell you what, these last couple of days, you know, it's been very victorious. It's been, what would you say? Eye opener, you know, it's been monumental. This is this is amazing. I'm talking about simply amazing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know. <laughs> I just, I, I can't stop thinking about how God been hitting me, you know what I'm saying, and I've been praying and praying, you know, and I keep praying because, you know, we got to have our relationship with the Lord, you know what I'm saying, and that's our way of communicating, man. I know you see me smiling. I, I can't stop smiling because of what he's been doing. You know what I'm saying? He is perfect in every way. Tell you. Lord, thank you. <laughs> so, I, I could say more, but that's, that's the end result of it. Thank you, Lord. So, I'm going to let this joint run for a few you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I forgot to call my sister back. But listen. I'm going to call her here in a minute. What is that? Oh, Jesus. What the devil is that? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to call my sister back a little bit later. Man, I spoke to my pops. He's all right. I appreciate that. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my hand. No, I ain't know them just blank. That's crazy. Yeah, man. We're going to get into this word. I hope y'all been following me over there on that TikTok. Yes. I think it's still Donuts592. And that's Donuts with a Z. 592. You know what I'm talking about? You can catch me over there hitting some scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Getting into the spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Because that's where it's at. Like I told y'all the other day, you know, God is a spirit. And that's what we have inside of us. So uh, God is a part of us. He's a part of our spirit. And our spirit should be joyous happy and just unbothered by the things of this world. Let me tell you why. Because that's our portion. God wanted it this way for us to be happy, elevated. You know what I'm saying? When he elevates you to another level, there's always somebody to feel like that they'll never get to that level. Or they want to 
attach themselves to you to try to pull you down to their level so that you stay stuck with them so they can act like they better. You know what I'm talking about? We have to watch out for people like that. You know, they come in all shapes, forms, and sizes. You know what I'm talking about? And George B. Woo! Like I told my baby. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, baby. Good afternoon. I love you. <laughs> I love you. you know, I told you that this morning. I tell you that every morning. I tell you that every night. I tell you that every time I talk to you. You know, we talk in the spirit. And don't really even have to say much to each other. You know, because the way God put us together is just amazing. I love him for that. I thank him. I always was like, when I was growing up, feeling like I'm missing something. You know what I'm saying? And that would used to keep me up because I would go out into the streets and try to find whatever I could to try to satisfy that feeling that I had. And when God crossed our paths, I realized that, that that's where that feeling was coming from. It was coming from my baby, my true rib. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, man, it's just, ooh, Lord, I had to release. I had to release, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I bet my, my, my chi is high, you know what I'm saying? And y'all already know this. And I can't help it. The way God has been hitting me, he's just been raising it up even more and more and more every day. Like the last few days, he's just been like, like making me happy. You know what I'm saying? Happy, just a joint told me some bad news about myself, right? And I started smiling. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Because <laughs> we ain't perfect, you know what I'm saying? God is the only one that's perfect. He's perfect in every way. You know what I'm saying? And as you grow your relationship with him, you'll start to feel more comfortable with not being perfect. You know, but he always puts you with the right people or person that's perfect for you. You know what I'm saying? He'll always do that. Once you establish your relationship with him, he will appoint these people. When I was praying, praying, I'm talking about praying, crying on my knees, crying, big old joint like, look, look at me. Crying on my knees saying, Lord, bring me my rib. You know what I'm talking about? Send my rib my way. You know, and when I got to looking around trying to help somebody else, God did his thing. You know what I'm talking about? He did what he he promised. And like I said, the two, you know, y'all catch your on TikTok, you know, I I made an analogy of it. Oh, we ate in man. You know, this is this is very enlightening and, and uplifting. You know, this is uh, a part of me, and it's a part of me that I cherish and I love because it happened to me, and it happened to me at the right time in my life. You know what I'm saying? I made a popcorn analogy, right? Where you know, we pray for something, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we pray for some popcorn, but then we want it to be movie theater butter popcorn, you know what I'm talking about? We want it to have all the fixings, you know what I'm talking about? Parmesan, all that junk, you know what I'm talking about? Listen, we have to put in work along with God's help. He has said it before us. Just so that we can see it and he can guide us and teach us what to do about it. 
he give you a whole field of corn. And a pop it and fix it and put it how you want it. You know what I'm saying? Some people throw the hot sauce on that joint. I'm talking about. And I'm just saying popcorn just in general. You know what I'm saying? It could be anything. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying what he is doing in my life, in my baby's life, in our kids' life. And, you know, people, the true destiny helpers lives. Cause we pray for y'all too, you know what I'm saying? We pray for y'all too. He had me to pray for somebody last night, you know, a couple of people, but I was singing my little song. We <laughs> were talking about minding my business, humping along. And he hit me and I just started praying for them, them people, you know what I'm saying? And I hope it helped to elevate them and they truly took it to heart because we all need prayer in our life to have our relationship with the Lord. You know, that's something else that I say on time. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I told y'all, when he hit me, I'm gonna hit y'all. And I'm gonna get into this joint, you know what I'm talking about? So don't mind me smiling. Because God been wild. You know what I'm saying? He been wilding on the devil. The devil is weak. You know, they said he's a coward. But if y'all could have seen what he showed me and my baby, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we, we see things, you know what I'm saying, in the spirit. And when I saw that fire, I'm like, okay, Lord, that's that burning head that you got protecting us. You know what I'm talking about? And it was like the joints was busy doing what they was doing. But then I had a dream, too. And the, those eyes on that horse in that dream was the same type of image of the eyes of the joints that I was seeing that was getting licked by the flames. They was like, when they was doing what they was doing and no flames started raising up, boy, them joints was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, if y'all yeah, can see this, man, I'm telling you, it's like some movie stuff. You know, uh, a lot of these movies that's out, they depict people's visions and dreams. You know what I'm saying? And when I saw that in my vision, I seen it in the vision. I was wide awake. I was walking around. I'm looking for something to do. You know what I'm saying? And and just praying, walking around. And then he hit me with that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying to keep those thoughts off off me. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they're the heir of the devil. But this time, when he put that thought or vision that flash to me. He told me it was okay to laugh. And then I heard a deep, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A deep laugh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like from the gut, you know what I'm saying? And I just, I, man, dude that was over by me, you know what I'm saying? He's like, huh, what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I I can't stop laughing about it because of how it happened, you know what I'm saying? Because I just mind my business, you know what I'm saying? That's how he usually hit me when I be, you know, just chilling, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, trying to have my mind clear to think. And, you know, I'm always trying to think of new ways to try to get some, you know what I'm talking about? And, you know... I, I actually wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking about something else. I was praying about something else, dealing with the kids, you know what I'm saying? And he hit me with that right as some warfare had tried to start up, you know? And he was like, with that laugh, and it was simultaneously, 
He said, look at the feeble attempts. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, that ain't nothing. Watch this. You know what I'm saying? Type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, when I heard it and then I saw that vision, I was like, man, because for the last probably week or so, I haven't been dreaming. You know what I'm saying? And I have a dream like every few days or so, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I had been catching either the beginning of it or the end of it. And I'd be sitting, you know, thinking while I'm doing my thing, like thinking on how I can visualize the rest of the dream and see what, you know what I'm saying, with all, everything that went on, you know what I'm saying? And it haven't been no bad stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's just been a little simple stuff like, you know, I dreamed of building something you know what I'm saying? And it's going to come into fruition, too. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, I'm waiting on a few calls now to come in. Uh, they kind of on the limit. And I'm going to get to them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, we're 16 in. We're going to get to it. Lord, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people this lovely afternoon? Because you still got me in the end. And then my baby turned around and started, started up again. You know what I'm saying? I was just chilling. I was chilling about to do some TikTok. And <laughs> when I saw that, I couldn't do nothing but laugh and smile again because we had been thinking the same things. You know what I'm saying? I love you. <laughs> I love you. Lord. Lord. Thinking the same thing. And then I know she saw because I, I said I know. I said I asked her. I said I know you saw what I saw. <laughs> Who said it? And she couldn't do nothing but start laughing. You know what I'm saying? Man. Ooh. Oh, Zico. Zico 40. And it look like 40 and 41. You know what I'm talking about? And Zico 42. And it look like that old one-two step, but you already know what we're going to do. We're going to run that joint. Listen. I know a lot of y'all new people is like, man, this this dude here is off the chain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm nothing like you used to. You know what I'm saying? This is not that religious. I'm going to beat you down, break you, build you up. Then now I know how to break you down again because I just put you back together. No, I try to help you put yourself back together through your spirit. Do what God gave you. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't nothing like that over here. You know what I'm talking about? This is authentic or nothing. And y'all see how he give me these scriptures? I don't go and look for them to pick nobody apart. He hit me like he hit me. You know what I'm talking about? And I just have to be unsugarcoated over here too. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And just give it to you. My baby, she said, she told me, and I love you for that. She told me, give it to him how he give it to you. You know, because people need to know. That's the only way that they're going to learn. That's what's up. It says, and at the side without as one go up, up to the entry of the north gate were two tables and on the other side which was at the porch of the gate were two tables four tables were on this side 
and four tables was on that side. By the side of the gate, eight tables were upon thy sloop. Their sacrifices. And yeah, we running that joint. And the four tables were of hewn stone for the burnt offering of a cubit and a half long and a cubit and a half broad and one cubit high whereupon also they laid the instruments wherewith they slew the burnt offerings and the sacrifice. You know, they were there sacrificing burnt offerings and thanks to the Lord for freeing the children from slavery. You know what I'm saying? They were doing that to thank him. They were at his temple that he had. And they were there to praise and worship him because he was he is our savior. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we do when we pray. We are sacrificing our time to give to him. Because I'll tell you about time. Time waits for no man and time we can't get back. All we can do is keep moving forward and have better times. You know what I'm talking about? Woo! Rejoicing in his word. You know what I'm talking about? But I tell my baby, let's keep moving forward. You know, people try to hold us, try to keep us in the past, stuck where they at. They don't want to elevate. They don't want to grow. They don't want to move forward. We can't take them with us, baby. You know what I'm saying? And that goes from past lovers, past friends, past family members, whatever. You know, they don't want to keep going. Fine. We'll keep on looping around you. You know what I'm saying? We'll keep on looping around you. Ain't no love loss. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to keep our heart clean for the Lord to rest. You know what I'm saying? He going to stay in our heart. You know, we don't go around hating on people, smiting people, talking down on people like that. You know what I'm saying? He fights our battles. But he also tell us to do our part. So when y'all hear us doing what he has instilled in us to do, to help in the process of what he's doing for us, don't take it with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? Or should I say take it with a grain of salt? You know, this is authentic or nothing. Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no telling how you want to take it, but take it. You're going to have to, because God said so. You know, people being devil energy, and we just have to pray for them until it come up out of them. You know, when the Holy Ghost get in us, that's what we do. We start praying. You know, we might bust down and start praying in tongues. We might drop to our knees wherever we at and, and pray to God. Why not to go on no show? It's the show respect to our savior you know i'm telling you I, I ain't never used to do nothing like that until he started really hitting me you know what i'm saying and letting me know what he wanted me to do you know what i'm saying and i'm like lord I, i'm obedient because when i'm not obedient all kind of stuff happens to me you know what i'm saying and it's the stuff that's behind the scenes that y'all don't see it, y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying? And I, I be living my life in clarity 
So I do let some things be known what he wants to be known. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm off a little parts because I've been you know, you know, doing my thing with, with God. You know what I'm saying? It's something um, between us. You know, my wife already know. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm gonna keep calling him my wife because that's what he told me. That's what he showed me. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I thank him, you know. <clears throat> Listen, we over here now. He says, then he brought me forth into the outer court. The way towards the north. And he brought me into the chamber that was over against the separate place and, w and which was before the building towards the north. Before the length of a, a hundred cubits was the north door and the breadth was 55 cubits. You know, the architects of those days were geniuses of their time because God put forth the thought that was something that he had before he created us was the thought of us. Just like how a painter, and I'm going to tell you how a apostle put it, just like how a painter already know what he's going to paint before he even touched the canvas. That's how God did us when he created us. You know, it says, and we're running that joint, over against the 20 cubits which were for the inner court and over against the pavement, which was the four other court was gallery against gallery in three stories. See, they even got down with the like, man, they laid that joint out. They laced it. You know what I'm talking about? It says, and before the chamber was a walk of 10 cubits birth inward and a way of one cubit and their doors towards the north. You know, they get out into detail with that joint when they, they did that. That's just like how he did us. He got down to detail to us. That's why we must have our relationship with him to understand each and every part of our mind, body, and soul. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, you know, we have dominion over how we react to other people projecting their energy onto us. You know, this is authentic or nothing. We, we don't have to worry about another's because we too busy elevating and learning about ourselves to be able to keep going forward and moving toward God's promise, purpose, destiny. You know, other people start worrying about you, you need to be, be taking heed, you know what I'm saying? Because they feeling like what God has for you is better than what God has for them. When it could be the total opposite. Like I said too, you know, and I keep on quoting myself because it's very true. <clears throat> People be like, if I had your hands, I cut mine off. You know, that's saying that you're doing better than they are. When they don't know the struggles and the pains that you have endured, that you've been going through, the blood, sweat, and tears of your labor, 
They think everything is just handy. That's why they be trying to look into you and spy on you and do divination and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And keep up a bunch of gossip with rumors and lies and, you know, just take everything into exaggeration. You know, this is authentic or nothing. And I'm 30 in and, and I got to, whoo, you know what I'm talking about? I'm going to holler at y'all when he hit me again, man. Y'all see me smiling and I mean, y'all going to take, man, listen. Donuts with a Z, five, nine, two, TikTok. Later on.